and welcome back to MLB The Show 19 and the Salamon Barrios Road to the Show. I'm Tyron Saber. Last time out, we faced off against the Texas Rangers in Arlington. Salamon hit himself another couple dongs, including a grand slam. So he's looking a lot better now. Uh, average up around 263 on base at 371, slugging 566, which means he is hitting something around 900 OPS. That's not bad. Let's keep going. Got ourselves a training day out here. We can start working on our contact because we definitely need it. Uh, plate discipline is kind of slugging, uh, lagging behind here, and it might be worth taking that. Um, I might, I might actually go defensive reps if I don't see anything else I like. Something like power. Power is always nice. But what do I want to do? Um. You know, I think I'm going to have to... S think I might... No, I'm going to go with defensive reps. I was really tempted to raise the caps on account of I'm already pretty close to some of those caps. But, you know, on the whole, I'm really struggling with uh, this arm strength thing. Solomon is really basically a... Uh, he's pretty much just a shortstop in terms of his arm strength. This He's got a pretty good arm, but he's not like right fielder arm strength kind of guy. So that's just kind of how it is. We're going to go play. We're going to go speak with David, Daniel Robinson here and get a new friend out of the deal. Um, we are already at um, we're already at I think level 3 here. We might as well keep working on Maverick to get it up to level 4. Have a good group of guys here. We can rack up some wins if we stay focused. He feels good about the atmosphere in the clubhouse. That's great. Let's keep going. Because we're going to get a chance out here against the oh, Brad Osmus. League rank and assists is low. That means we're not making good throws or the right ones. Let's improve on it. Well, I mean, there's only so much I can do from out there in the field. If I don't make the catch, it's not likely I'm going to make an assist. Regardless... We're coming out here in Colorado, out to Coors, and we're going to see if we can't get some of those that uh, Rocky Mountain Dong action. Let's get it. Tuesday night baseball from Denver, Colorado, and Coors Field. Tonight, the first of two in this interleague matchup between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Colorado Rockies. It's interleague baseball next on the show. Antonio Senzatella, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy is. If he brings his A game, he can I shut don't. anybody down. The problem he's had so far this season, he's been a little Three. bit inconsistent. Three. He's a better pitcher than... Well, the Angels are coming out here. Get themselves a run in the top of the first, so we get to continue the action out here. Let's see if we can't build on that. Oh, you got to be kidding me, Ump. That was no way a swing. Should have increased my plate to swing. Gosh dang it. Yeah, Maddie, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs. Okay, one-two count. Let's get back on track here. Line the line. This team swung the bats well. I'm going to be looking for that again in this one. So let's take a high fastball there. taken. In this one. Ball two. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Hey, D Row, you better be up there ready to swing with Ricky Holiday behind the plate, particularly on that high pitch. Yeah, and I'm, I don't like that, Dan. As an offensive player, that's the one pitch that you almost can't get to. Ooh, that was just off the corner there. 3 2. Good pitch. It could have gone either way. Fouled off the curveball. Late on it. Squared it up. Just a little late on it. The next three, two. Fouled that one off as well. Ah, liner straight at the first baseman. Can't really complain about that one. It was good contact. It just went in the wrong direction. 
But nonetheless, Solomon comes out here. Base is loaded. Oh, dear. Coming out here with the bases loaded. Two outs. Top of the third. See what we can do with it. Fastball inside. Ball one. Inside with the fastball there. Well, I don't know that we necessarily need to prove that we want to be the four-hole hitter. I mean, we do want to be the four-hole hitter, but first we want to work on getting an actual... Uh-oh! Got sawed off there. Got sawed off there, and that is going to end the inning. Angels get just the one. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Well, 0 for 2 tonight. We're going to try to contact swing for a hit here. We are down 2 to 3 now, top of the sixth. Early on that one, I think. Yep. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. High fastball, taking ball one. Get the call. Suter. A six foot five inch left. Brent Suter on the mound. Very late rounds during the first year player draft. Mm, inside fastball swung on for strike two. Category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Oh, goodness gracious. Swung on and missed. Well, here we come out here. Unfortunately, Shohei Otani doing what he has to do out here and giving up a lot of runs. And the 2 1 pick. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Moving under it, Barrios. One down. Throw it to the cutoff, man, and that'll be the first out of this inning. And then Charlie Bla Blackman coming on out here. That's Mr. Chuck Nasty to you. High ball to right field. Solomon going back, but he doesn't have a chance on it. That one's out of here. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Home run number five on the year, and the lead is now seven to two. Wow, that's what a pitcher gets for not putting what he thought was a bad call in the rearview mirror. I think he was still fuming and didn't get the pitch where he wanted it. The result, a reason to be... Well, he's got one more shot tonight, Solomon does, so we'll see what we can do about it. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time. And a changeup here misses off the corner. Rodas Vizcaino out here. 18,445 people here in Coors tonight. The Rockies, thank you for your support. And that was a contact swing. It's going to fall into shallow center, and that is going to end the inning. So, Solomon struggles out here, and the Rockies wins it. The Rockies wins it. Excuse me, Tyrant. What's wrong with you? It's a cloudy day here in the Rocky. Tyler Duffy is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's had a great All right, coming out here, top two. Runners first and second. One out. They're giving me a boost on this one, so if I can get a hit off of this guy. And if he's on. And he does into the gap in right field, but it's just going to be a base hit single, I think. Would have felt a little uncomfortable trying to go two on that one, but Solomon does add a single and an RBI to his number, so let's go, Venga. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. And what's even better, Solomon has got himself an open base, so if Tyler Duffy doesn't throw like a madman up here. This is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this Well, that's going to be a grounder over to first base anyway. Sacrifice single, more or less. Not quite a sack bunt, but... 
the bat. Number two. Ground out RBI. Vogler, and Solomon finds himself on second. In this one. The one, one. Left side. That'll be a liner over to third, and that is going to end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Angels are out in front, two to nothing. Here comes Tony Walters, bottom of the third, with nobody out, nobody on, nobody out. Hey, we're still in the early oh, stages in this one. They're only down by That's a just a runs, lazy fly really ball to the kingdom of Solomon. He's out there to get it. Get First out of the inning. Barrios is there, one away. And before we get much further, time for a look at the standings entering play today to see where the Angels LA not doing well, not doing poorly. Class. We're two games above 500 going through the month of April here. We're seven games behind Houston. I don't know that that's necessarily unexpected, but we would like to be doing better. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Connected on that one, but it's just going to be a fly out to right center field. And he's got it to end. No, make the second out. Excuse me. Here comes Nolan Arenado. Fly ball to right field. Solomon's got it. Well, that was a mistake on my part. Didn't pay enough attention to who was on. Okay. I didn't wait to see what his name was. Reggie Parrish, I think, is what they said it was. But that'll just be an easy fly ball out to Solomon land, and that is going to be the first out of the fifth. To try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Okay, here comes Solomon, top again. three, Solomon one on, Mario. one out, and they are just going to intentionally walk him, helping that OBP some more without Solomon even have to, having to do a dang thing. The fear is real, folks. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take the Especially when they the can only, ha only have to face the pitcher Aaron. coming up next. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Aaron Sanchez. He's got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to nope. this point. Got Trying to bunt us over. Realuto at second, Barrios at first, one gone. And they do have him bunting with one away as he puts this one down. They got Solomon, but they did not get the pitcher, so that's runners on the corners. They're going to add one here, making it 4-1 to one here in the late going. Let's see what we can do. Long, high, far, out of here. Adios, Pelota. Solomon adds his eighth home run on the year here in Coors. 391 feet to right field and gone. Big fly for Solomon Luis Aparicio Barrios Garcia. I don't know who that is standing next to Brad Osmonds, but he has got a stone face. Not even a, not even a twitch on that yeah, one. Yeah, that home run is an absolute backbreaker. Boom. You still have some baseball left to play here. Boom. But with a four-run lead, it could be a non-save situation. So they might get the rest of their closer the rest of the day. Just off the top field. of the wall, but that's enough. And in fact, Solomon's even going to get another shot out here. Eight to one, top nine. First delivery to him on the way. Sweeping curve that fouled that one off early on it. The wind up and the 0 1. High fastball. High one and one. Nice and patient one at a time. Another curveball to the outside. That's two and one. Not really the best control here that I see. The On the other there. hand, that was a good curveball that got Solomon out in front of it. Hey, get your pitch and drive it, huh? Lasers all day. Low inside fastball, 3-2 count. 
and obviously this guy's on, making him work right out here. here. He can run and he can go yard too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base. And a swing and a miss on a curveball. Well, I don't know what else you want out of Solomon. He hit his home run today. One, two, three, and it remains an eight to one ball game. Got himself two RBIs on the day, two hits. Now the skipper's on his way out. It's gonna be a home plate gonna area, be a double switch out here. Double switch here. Specialty of the National League. They're going to put Cam Bedrosian on the mound, and they're going to swap out Solomon in the field for the ninth, and that is going to end the game. So the Angels uh, split this series against the Rockies. Eight to one is the final score this afternoon. The Los Angeles Angels took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Aaron Sanchez earns the win his second as he turns in eight strong innings of work. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Well, it was another short series out here. Solomon added another couple hits, another home run. 262, 367, and 571 uh, slash line today. So uh, we got a series coming up against the Oakland A's, and considering we've only, we've only been in it for about 15 minutes, let's keep going. Should be a training day, I think. Indeed. Give us a chance to raise our contact cap a little or improve our plate vision. Definitely something that I need to do, frankly. Uh, work on some of our other stuff if we like. Get our arm accuracy and arm strength up if we so choose. Improve base running aggressiveness. Don't really care. Improve our power. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, focus. Yeah, I think we got to do plate vision. I desperately need to get that up on account of I'm real bad at discerning what pitches go where and considering I don't use the style of PCI that allows you to aim your thing because I'm a dummy, uh, I think I need this. So let's go ahead and do the pitch recognition drill and try to do it. So let's go. Honestly, that's one of the easiest mini games in this whole freaking uh, road to the show mode. So, uh, you know, I feel like this, this point levels ought to at least be a little higher required for the tiers of success. Or, you know, maybe the rewards a little bit less. I don't know. Regardless, that is going to drop us out here against the Oakland Athletics divisional rival. So let's get out here and get it. MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to Angel Stadium of Anaheim on this Thursday night. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the Oakland A's and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Robbie Ray, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Wow, talk about a number that jumps out at you. This guy's whip, which is walks to hits to innings pitch, is less than one coming into this start. That's not an easy thing to do. That tells me one thing. Not only is his stuff good, but he yeah. Digging in, Solomon Barrios. And he's seen his and numbers on the rise the here over the last five the games fielder. or so. Solomon. Solomon coming out here, bottom of the second. 1-1, one, one, nobody on, nobody out. The first pitch. And a sinker below the zone. Swung on and missed. Or swung on and fell off. And a curveball. Yeah, Maddie, in this sport at this level, you, you have to All right. find a way okay. to be a little bit realistic. It's going to be that kind of day, huh? You're going to win every ball game. So they lost last game. Fine. Let's find a way to execute. Change up to the outside. Swung on and fell off. Wait for a good 
Here's one. And yep, he looks at a ball. Out. Going a little two. further outside. Oh, makes it three. one and two. Throw nothing in the zone, frankly. In the dirt, and that's one down, down below the miss. zone, Off but Solomon is not going to get to that one. Down to first, one away. All right, guys, so here's how the Oakland A's are lining up on defense for this one. And if you look at the numbers on this team, defensively, they're in the top five. Fewest errors in the league. Flashing the leather, picking and grinning. Keep an eye on them. They play stout defense. Stephen Piscotti. He got on top of now one and was a ground down victim last time. Stephen Piscotti. Here we go. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Donnie extends nicely. And Good fly ball. But Solomon's out there in his tracks to get make a warning track catch. Makes the second out of the inning. For the second out. And when Solomon comes out next, it's a tie ball game. 3 to 3. Bottom of the third. Two outs. Runner on second. Sinker. Nasty sink action on that pitch. Ooh, slider coming in on Solomon's hands. Take an 0 2. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching. That's below the zone, I think. Yep. And the plot thickens here. 3 0. All right, 3-0 pitch. You're coming in the zone. I know that much. No, you are not. Four-pitch walk to Solomon here. And that'll be runners first and second with two outs here in the third. We'll see how it works. Play David Fletcher, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. All right, two to one. Let's go, trust yourself right here. Let it fly. And a sinker gets low pitch. Into the dirt, in fact. Makes it 3 1. Go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And, he misses and that is going to be another walk here. It's going to load the bases here for Triggs. That'll bring up Xander Bogarts. Hitting 311 has a triple in the second inning. So he's got the chance to do some real damage here if Andrew Triggs out here. I think that's his name. Andrew Triggs leaves a ball in the zone. That is going to be through the gap on the left field side. Solomon not going to chance it there at home. He would have been gunned down pretty good, and he's had enough cases of that this year. So Xander Bogarts gets himself an RBI single. He's able to turn on the pitch he wanted right there and drive it into the outfield. Good job getting the barrel to the ball right there, able to get that one through and picks up an RBI. Hard hit and a well-deserved run that it is. Here comes the next batter up. Ground straight up the middle. Solomon coming home on this one, as is. Next man up, David Fletcher. And that makes it a 6-3 to three game here. So Jeff McNeil, trade from the uh, New York Mets, makes contact here. Puts two runners across the plate. Makes six, makes it six three, and Solomon coming out here again, bottom of the fifth. And we'll go ahead and use Showtime here because I got the possibility of a boost on it. Gonna foul off that slider a little early on it, I guess. Hey, see, hey, drive it. Here we go. Now the 0-1. High fastball taken. I don't know who this is. It looks like a regen. Barry Owens. For something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone. That is another one outside. Nice splitter to the outside corner. That one could have gone either way. Slider, four seam splitter. It's a nasty arsenal, my friend. 
and he can't but the corner doesn't here, help so you if you can't get it at least one. near the zone and obviously this guy's a double threat up there he can run and he can go yard too fastball straight down the pipe but that one is just going to be grounded over there to second and that is going to be the second out of the inning Fly ball out to right field. Solomon making the run, but that one is going to be out of here. Matt Chapman adds on another one for the A's here. Still is 4 of 6. Comfortably leading the A's are, but we want to hold it there. Don't allow any more runs than we have to. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. And here comes Solomon once again, bottom of the eighth at 7-5. to five. The right fielder. First pitch on its way. First Oof, slider inside. 22,186 people here in Angel Stadium of Anaheim. The Angels do thank you for your support. We'll call time out on this guy. David Watanabe out here for the Athletics. That was an outside fastball. I knew it was an outside fastball, and yet I still swung on it. Whatever that's worth to you. Change up to the inside, and that'll be ball two. Fastball to the inside. He's got a two-seamer and a sinker. Connected on that one, but that's just going to be a routine fly ball to center field. And that'll be the first out of the eighth. Regardless, light that baby up. Robbie Ray gets himself a win. And the Angels do too, defeating their divisional rival A's. I think 7 to 5 is the final score. The Halo led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Robbie Ray notches his third win of the year. Andrew Triggs permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. Cody Allen wraps it up with the save, his fifth of the year. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Blizak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Friday night baseball now from the Big A, Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Oakland A's and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one as one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head-to-head -head with a top finesse arm. Next. Tyler Skaggs is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Angels. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. All right, we're coming out here, top one, the leadoff hitter, Tim Lucas. Sending one to Solomon land on the first uh, under the out of the game. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Fletcher backs up. David Fletcher's got that one for the, for the first out of the game. And here's a shot of the athletic starting lineup for this one. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, Matt, you know, the man hitting cleanup has had a rough go of it lately. He's not producing at the plate like people expect him to. I don't know if it's the pressure or if it's just baseball. Sometimes you go through struggles. Maybe today is the day he breaks out of it. And that'll bring Solomon out here. The Angels are up two to nothing here, bottom of the second. He's leading off the inning. 
Oh, Oof, and the knuckle curveball out one. here from Garrett Cole. Jason knows Garrett Cole well, and Solomon is coming to not like him so much. And in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Maddie, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three. Haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. Fastball inside corner taken for ball two. Fundamentally sound. Start there first. Well, fans of the art of pitching are in for a treat. One of the game's big-time flamethrowers. Another one outside, 3-1. See, see what Solomon can do with this one. Sets from both offenses, Dan. Facing the power guy, he's going to come at Fouls that one down, and I think that was even a low pitch. Yep. And on the flip side, the finesse guy is going to try and keep everyone off balance. And I want to see what off-speed pitch he has working. Fouls that one off. That was a good one to hit, and I couldn't react in time to it. Oh, actually, I was early on it. I don't know how you're early to a 98-mile-an-hour uh, fastball. Nonetheless, Solomon gets blown away by Garrett Cole, and that's the first out of the inning. All right, guys, here's how the Oakland A's are lining up defensively. And let's take a look at outfielder Steven Piscotti. Stanford grad, so you know he's got the smarts in the baseball acumen to get it done out there. Big middle of the order bat, big time arm from right field as well. Stepping into the box, Steven Piscotti. He's over one. Well, here comes Piscotti, top four. Still two to nothing. The two two. In the air now. High fly ball out to Solomon Land. He's got it for the first out of the inning. Bring this one in. Haven't seen any errors out of Solomon this year. I don't know if that means anything. Get a cold now. The boss challenge for Solomon coming out here. One of the true icons in the sport today. This is you. This is you. Hey, come on now, guys. Got to hold him. All right. Let's see what we got. Single or better, double or better, you might as well go f go big. We've also got a boost possibility on this. Oh, baby. Ah, that's just a pop-up on the infield. Yuck. Right down the pipe, and Solomon just managed to foul it straight up. That's disgusting. Okay, well, now it's 2-2 two two here. Bottom of the seventh. I think Cole is still out here. Yep, indeed. Fastball low inside corner taken. Strike one. Hey, that's just a great pitch right there. Fastball at the bottom of the zone right under the knee. It's interesting. Another one, same spot, fouled off, strike two. To the ground with it. I can live with that being called a strike. What I can't live with is above the belt getting popped. Connected on the curveball, but it was early on it. a terrible pitch right there. But if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down. Fouled that one off as well. Another one-two delivery. Uh, and a slider got him swinging and missing. Here comes Randall Gritchick off of the Blue Jays. Three to two. I always refer to or have started to refer to him as Mr. Meaningless Home Run after a notorious little tweet that he made earlier this year. But the A's managed to pull this one out of their hat. Looks like Watsonabe is the game winner today. And that'll split the series so far. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Oakland came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. David Watanabe earns his third win of the year in relief. Blake Trinan earns the save out of the bullpen, his eighth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Now from
from the longtime home of the Halos, we've got baseball from Orange County, California. Today, a contest from the AL West between the Oakland A's and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Andrew Heaney gets the ball for the Angels in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're looking at a real solid starting pitcher right here. You take a look at that ERA, anywhere between three and a half and four, but I'll tell you what he does know how to do. He knows how to get people out, and he can minimize the damage. He knows how to control the running game. He does a lot of things. Okay, like Solomon coming out here, things. bottom of the first, he two outs. He's hitting in the four hole today. Solomon. Here we go. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pitch Boy, out, pitch first out pitch. Here, but nothing's going on. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. Hey, d -Row, you better be ready to Sean Mania out here on the bump. Pitch. Freddie Ferguson, low ball umpire. Yeah, makes it tough on the umpire. Another throw Donald over. Like the low ball, but that usually means those guys Very concerned with the runner on first. Not so concerned with the man at the, the plate. Up, and this guy doesn't give you a chance. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. Change up inside. That is going to be a good steal. Runner over to second. Mikey Trout gets himself a stolen base on the day. Slider down, taken for ball for strike one. Wasn't taken either. It was struck. It was swung on. You missed. That's a fastball down, taken for ball strike two. Goodness, I am just not getting anything right right now. The set and the two-two. It's a bloop into left field. That is going to fall for a base hit. Mike Trout is going home. He is safe. RBI single from Solomon Barrios to get the Angels ahead early in this one. And Mike Trout does his job out there, ignoring the third base coach on his way to score. And made it just in time to score the run. Might have been a bad throw a little bit, but. Can't deny that was some good speed from Mike Trout to score that run. Let's go! Ready now, Justin Moore, and check out the recent numbers. And it's 3-2 already, so Solomon is going to move on. Oh, and I got picked off. Four base running there, got him caught in the hot box between first and second. And I got picked off. That's stupid. Standing in, Solomon Barrios. He reached on a single in his first try. Solomon. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this. Only a slider way outside for ball one. Career. The pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Let's go. Wait for the pitch. Now a snap move over to first. And a dive, but he's back in. And let's go now. One time. One time. Hey, see what do you say? 1-0 delivery. Oh, no! He did it again! That one is well and truly gone! Adios, Pelota! Number nine on the year for Solomon Barrios. That was a big bomb to right field. Big fly for Solomon Luis Aparicio Barrios Garcia scoring two runs on that one. And Mike Trout giving him the high five. Going of this one. Good contact on that one and sends it way, way back into the stands. He might be heading that way real soon if he can't keep the ball in the dark. Solomon Barrios, home run and a single today. Three RBIs on the day so far. It's now six to one, and we got a new pitcher out here. Nice splitter on that one. We got Barry Owens back out here. Hopefully he can stop the bleeding for the A's, or maybe not. Slider inside, just about nailed Solomon. Slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pop commit, 
and bury that inside. It That's a liner to right field, but that is going to be and right at the third base, the or excuse me, the right fielder. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference. So good contact on that one. Just wrong difference. spot out there. Randall Gritchick fielding it easily. Here comes Matt Olson, first baseman for the A's. See what he can do here. Top six with two out. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. That's a high fly ball over Solomon's head, and there is no doubt about that one. That is out of here. A solo shot that time for Matt Olson. Seven home runs for him on the year now. As the lead is cut to four, it's six to two now. Wow, not every call is going to go your way. And there are some pitchers that pitchers think are pitchers' pitches, and you don't get that, and it puts you in a bad spot. And you could tell that it affected him. He was fuming, and he really wanted that last pitch. And the result, he lost focus and made another bad pitch. Solomon Barrio. Well, we got to skip that flashback on account of I'd get content ID'd into the Stone Age. All right. And Waboosh! Oh! Well, Waboosh indeed, but right at the second baseman, and that'll be the second out of the inning. But regardless, we add even another one. Top nine. It's nine to four. Angels on top. I think that's Cody Allen out there. Kicks and deals. That's out to Solomon Land. He's over to get it. That's the second out of the inning. And light that baby up. Andrew Heaney gets himself another win on the season. I believe his third. Angels get another win on the series. We, in fact, are in position to split, if not win, this series. And uh, I believe we even get another win over the Athletics here. So, looking good so far. Well, they gave Solomon a break out there for the game four of the series, which we wound up losing. So we split that series against the A's. That still puts us six games back in the uh, AL West. And uh, I don't know. Ho uh, Solomon now at nine home runs on the season, 22 RBIs, slashing 255, 358, and 564. So those are all really good numbers, all told. And I'm relatively happy about the way he's performing right now, finally. It seems like it's been a while since he's hit this well, but, you know, now, now that we're hitting well again, hopefully we can stay that way through the rest of the season. In any case, I think that's going to do it for me. So until next time, I'm Tyrant Saber, and I will see you at the ballpark.